the web of things, internet of things, how they can provide services to the users on the web is very interesting. Um, let's look at a scenario, particularly our smart home, uh, which is going to have certain services which can be tailored, which can be revoked, provisioned, built, um, and then we are going to identify interesting requirements that we'll discuss in due course of time. So um, we call it the smart home scenario. We look at how uh, a smart home uh, offers services through the W4T uh, service model. First of all, uh, as in W4T, all the uh, interfaces are based on uh, HTTP, understood? Uh, but the uh, possibility of having the proprietary protocols uh, and the uh, broker-based uh, protocols makes uh, the WOT service model more powerful. Uh, as a consequence, the cost is these uh, possibilities allow uh, or trigger certain degrees of service qualities and traffic uh, patterns. It means that we are going to expect uh, non-uniform and heterogeneous uh, traffic behaviors and the service qualities which are coming for different applications on WOT from uh, different uh, physical devices. Uh, so what are the WOT devices as in smart home? Uh, starting off from the very basic things such as ele electric heater or uh, gas-based heating system um, with uh, access to uh, the room heating or the water heating like geysers. Uh, then we've got the uh, HVAC, the humidity, ventilation, air conditioning. Uh, we have the entertainment system like uh, LED TV. Uh, we have the entire household lighting system, including uh, um, the uh, lights of every room, uh, even down to the um, uh, refrigerator and uh, microwave oven lights. Uh, then we have a uh, cooking system including the oven, the cooking range. Uh, uh, then we've got surveillance cameras uh, deployed across different uh, ends of the household. Uh, uh, then we've got the management of the main gate, uh, the front door, uh, and uh, the wall mountings, including uh, paintings and the pictures of uh, uh, family on the wall. Uh, then uh, the vacuum cleaning system. Uh, in this case, we can think about a smart robot which cleans only the uh, relatively dirtier places over the last uh, 24 hours. Uh, then we've got the uh, temperature control system of the entire house depending upon what is the temperature outside. Um, we, we always had such systems like uh, uh, we had uh, the Honeywell system or we have the uh, Nest system provided by Google. Uh, so uh, if you look at these two uh, protocols or these two uh, technologies which are offered there in the market, you'll see that one of them is a heavily uh, uh, proprietary uh, while the other is uh, uh, based on the internet uh, infrastructure. So the WOD services are respectively created for all these things. For example, we need to have entertainment system, uh, uh, entertainment service, the heating service, heating cooling service. Uh, then we've got the lightning control system. We've got the uh, visitor uh, uh, presence service on the main gate and the front door that works in collaboration with the cameras. So uh, we can think about the smart home as a very interesting intertwined uh, set of services. So at the device layer, we've got uh, the devices themselves. Then we have the broker. The broker comprises the adaptation layer and the service layer. So you can see that we've got the surveillance service and refrigeration service. Now these services are accessed, edited, manipulated through an app. This could be an Android or iOS app. So uh, having such a complicated scenario, means that uh, 
we are not talking to the house alone we are talking to certain power generation company certain gas provisioning company some security system or the security infrastructure in your vicinity we are talking to the uh, weather forecasting website so uh, it means that the smart home application is a very good starting point to look at the requirements uh, for instance who owns what and who gets to have access to what uh, data type uh, and what kind of traffic pattern would be generated then how are you going to manage the uh, the pricing of it how are you going to um, monetize it uh, how are you going to deliver it and how would you see that certain quality of service parameters are met and uh, are you going to charge it uh, in a certain prepaid postpaid model uh, are you going to offer certain uh, subsidized bundles and uh, what is going to be your billing mechanism how are you going to actually uh, collect money from the service uh, consumers so now the smart home scenario sets the right uh, basis for uh, further discussion and uh, follow up on the charging rating the business uh, aspects for the uh, iot environment